Hey, this is Michelle, and I'm talking about something other than fibro, but you know what, fibro people, it affects us all because unless this nation gets balanced, unless right things are restored like morality, and I'm not talking morality like a lot of people will to you, but unless things are restored that should be, like taking care of American citizens, um, I'm with the woman from Bank of America that says the debtors, we need to rise up. We should be in the streets screaming. Uh, they're taking a deficit of our taxes and giving it to rich people. They're basically um, taking money out of our pockets and putting it to these rich CEOs and not putting them in jail. If you or I had committed anything like what was going on with the banking industry, we'd go away forever. And what's happening is the rich are getting richer and the poor poorer, which affects all of us. And which, if you are sick, makes you even more stressed out, which makes you sicker. So that's why it's really relevant to fibromyalgia and anything else. And yeah, I know right now I look like hell. Because I've been talking to credit card companies. I had my purse stolen about three months ago. And um, I did the right things. I called the cops. Well, the cops, instead of being nice guys, they act like pumped up jocks looking at the crazy lady. Okay? They made me feel bad. Then I put in 10 calls to my Broward Sheriff Office in Florida. Never a call back. Then I went on the route to find out what happened to my credit cards. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I do the cards for uh, my partnership and where I live, even though I'm disabled and when I can do them. But we used to get, for each credit card we had from Chase and Bank of America, actually Chase and Washington Mutual were the worst, and American Express, they would send us two to three um, letters a month asking us to do the 3.99% and with no transfer fee if you had good credit, some with transfer fees. So, of course, I utilized the best one and put our debt on different accounts. And guess what? We were able, with my partner, to uh, satisfy those debts and to pay everyone on time. And they gave us credits as high as 20000 and 30000 And we never took advantage of that. And we never spent more than we could pay back. And I had everything to a place we could pay back, even though I'm sick. You guys know my story. But my purse was stolen right in front of a retail establishment. The police from Broward County did nothing about it. And if you guys look at my other videos... Um, Guys, those of us in the middle, we're not being helped by the police, by the banks. Obama says go out and spend money, but how can we? We have one credit card that uh, mailed us a letter and said, we're taking your minimum payment from 200 and taking it to 600 Well, that's $400 a month. How many of us can afford that? Uh, Bank of America took our payment that was at 7.99% to the life of the loan up to 29%. So I'm with the lady that's getting all the hits. She's right. But there's one difference between her and I. She doesn't own property or a business. And my partner does. And she works from 4 a.m. in the morning till 10 at night to make certain that she can pay those bills. And I help her do that because I'm the one here to do it that runs the computer on the days I can get out of bed with my fibromyalgia, which, of course, gets worse with all this stress. But I got to tell you guys, I've called Chase, I've called Bank of America, I've got it all on tape, I've taped it all. If anybody thinks I'm lying here, the way that these CR reps talk to you, well obviously they have no clue. They have no clue. And America, what's wrong? I challenge each and every one of you that it's got an unfair situation to call and make everybody's life miserable because your life is being made miserable by this. I mean, if the bank in good faith, the credit card company said, I'm giving you 7.99 till this loan is paid off and you've never missed a payment, well, they should do that. It's not your fault that they haven't been able to keep their finances in control, is it? It's been very difficult for us to keep our finances control with me disabled, but we've been able to do it until my purse was ripped off. And it's not that the money was not in there to pay the bill pay, 
but Wachovia Bank froze the account. So it was one day, one day, and in a series of one day's event, eight credit cards uh, reneged on their statements and, and their offers, and they pulled them all away. And they took minimum payments about uh, 2000 a month up to $4,300 a month, more than twice with interest and with penalties, with everything they shouldn't have done because we, they always tell you with Visa, hey, if you get ripped off, it's not your fault. You won't be penalized. They're lying to you. Okay, so I asked what I thought was a really logical thing. I called Chase, which was the credit card that the thieves used first. Um, they went to one gas station, used it three different times. Mm, warning sign. Hello. And Chase did call while we were at the scene with the policeman, which the policeman did not go check out. Okay? But basically what I'm saying is because of a bank error, each and every credit card, if they gave us a an amount that we're supposed to have, they have brought that amount down of credit. So if we have a balance, that lowers our credit score. So every time the bank says, oh, you got 18,500 credit score, and you only owe 8000 Well, you're a bad risk now because, oh, wait a minute. I didn't notice to see that it was because of the robbery that you didn't make that one payment. Your banking was frozen, which we have letters to back that up. So they put it down to 11000 Now, if any of you guys know anything about credit scores, if you have an $8,000 balance and an $11,000 credit, well, then your score will go down. But if you had an $18,000 balance and there was $10,000 left, you'd look pretty damn good because you have not abused that credit card. Okay? So each and every credit card has written me a letter that they have lowered our, our rates, our limits, the limits that they gave us because we've never been late on anything, because our credit scores were good. Then they say it's because our credit scores went down. But ladies and gentlemen, the credit card companies own... TransUnion and the other credit card companies. We don't get a break, okay? Now, here's a funny thing. When they were messing up all of our cards, I uh, made a, a mistake because of, like I said, I used to have like four Chase cards. Now I have eight because they took over Washington Mutual, which makes it very confusing. Um, I paid one of my cards. I kept paying them even though it was a zero balance. So there was $500 there instead of sending it right back or giving me 29% interest on it or charging themselves a $29 fee because they were late. It's still sitting there and I've called twice and I haven't gotten it back. So I challenge all Americans, if you see any problems with your credit card statements right now, Congress is supposed to put some controls on their behavior, which is usury. And all of you people that believe in the Bible, Usury was really not a good thing in the Bible. Look it up. I'm challenging. Use your brains. Use your minds. And realize we're supposed to be free Americans. We're not. How are we free Americans when these corporations are being paid millions of dollars even when they don't do well out of our tax funds and Americans that are trying to pay their bills are being penalized? It's not freedom. You guys need to look into your history. You need to look at what's wrong. You need to make a make trouble for them. They're making trouble for you. I had a credit score that went from 728 to 640 just because they lowered those credit limits because of the robbery. Every payment was there. The money was there. It was banking mistakes, which is fully documented. If it can happen to me, it can happen to you. Take responsibility, America, and listen to this woman from debtors. And I have a um, thing I think we should do. I think Americans should get, get together. And for five days, we should not use any credit cards. Five days, I implore you, I tell you, do not use any credit cards. And we can send a message to the people that are taking advantage of us. And their agreements, they can take up their rates anytime they want to just because they can. Even if you don't do something wrong. Americans, is that right? That's not right. I'm ending this video, but there's going to be one behind it. Because I need...